Right, well, hey there. It's Adam from the Cigar Box Guitar Builder. And if you like what you're seeing, um, click on that little subscribe link down there. Okay, there's a little button there that says subscribe and like and all that sort of stuff. And get on in there and click that little bell as well. So uh, we're going to be doing a lot of videos um, this year, this coming year, uh, about Cigar Box Guitar Building. That's the whole idea. Uh, we're going to try and link as much in with the podcast as we can. Now, what we've basically done here is I've done a lot of work in here on basically bringing the shop back to some sense of organization. So I'm going to take you through the shop now. Um, I think I've, there's a video, earlier video about the store and how it looked before we fixed it up. Um, having said that, I'm not quite finished. There's still a bit of um, mess to clear, but the basic work area is pretty much ready to go. So let's have a little look and see what um, what we've got in the store, uh, in the shop, and how I've got it set up. It's not perfect, but we're getting um, all right. So let's walk into my little shop. So here we go. Here we go. We're going to walk into my store. Princey's here. Um, you can see here, it's still a bit messy here. I haven't really organized this section as yet. And this section here still needs work. All my cigar boxes, I keep them in there. Uh, there's some sense of organization. Uh, but as we come over here, this is workbench number one. This is the main workbench that I'll use. Now, I'll use this workbench uh, to rough cut uh, the necks uh, and set the neck and bodies up uh, to get all the dimensions right, um, fretboarding. Uh, the fretboards, uh, hammering in frets, all happens on this bench. Um, this is the basic work area. So over in this section, we've got all of the, the drills and tools. Just over here, you'll notice there's the power drill and a, a sander, which I can bring up to here to, to do any sanding that I might need to do. Uh, this is my box of bits. Uh, I keep drill bits in here, some knives, some small things. This sort of stuff should actually technically be out the moment they can go in there i'll talk about this in a second uh it's batteries and things like that which you know which are handy uh winders but all the drill bits and things like that that's that's pretty much where everything sits in there now these drawers these are the main screws that i use for bolting on the necks to the neck tenons um these are the uh, string retainers that I, I, I will use. So everything that I use on this bench, I'm trying to bring into this section here. Uh, this is some timber that I would use for nuts as well. Um, you can see I've also got some New Guinea rosewood here. I've got some blackwood there, uh, some normal rosewood as well. Uh, here are floating bridges. Okay, so different screws. So I might use these screws, for example, for um, neck position markers uh, or holding the tops of the boxes on more neck position markers. Uh, the black ones as well. Uh, these little nails, which I don't use a lot. I'm still deciding what to do with those. Uh, these ones are the small um, screws here. A lot of the times I'll tend to use these little ones just to hold things in place. Um, these, of course, which everyone knows, I'll use those uh, generally for the Hurricanes, which are our less expensive model, uh, as just so that it doesn't bite into the... Just so it doesn't bite... The string ends don't bite into the, uh, the timber. Um, these, of course, I, I will use these chrome uh, screws to um, to hold the tops down on the art box guitars that I build. Uh, so we use a lot of those because we do a lot of those guitars. Um, here, uh, you'll notice I've got pre-cut uh, timber um, for the neck position markers. Obviously, you know, I've done a few videos on how to use these. Um, I should pop, pop that there because I use that all the time um, and then we've got the lightning boys for example use the strainers uh, for lightning boys uh, we've got the uh, these I get from MRWS these ones I get from Coles <laughs> uh, then we've got these little ones here the little gold ones I get those from Bunnings and this one here, this is empty at the moment so it's a little mystery box I'm not sure what I'm going to pop in there um, tape, blue tape I've always got handy the blocks for uh, inside the uh, Lightning Boys and the Rolling Thunders. Um, the drill press, which is right at hand. I've got that all the time because I'm constantly using the drill press. Um, this one's a little Azito, uh, which I got from Bunnings. Um, and that's that section. Now, this, um, this I've had for five years. 
Uh, it's my little neck holder, and it's made from two pieces of, well, one piece of plywood and one piece of pine uh, with a little bit of felt underlay on the top, and it's been bloody brilliant. It's been worth every bit of the two and a half cents that it cost to make it, and um, I might do a video on building some nice ones. Uh, I might do another one for the store, actually for the store um, up at Katoomba. Uh, underneath here, I've got like the, you know, your uh, the fret saw lives in there, the planers, uh, sandpaper, router bits. Um, so this is all the glues, Prince's ball, which this is Prince's ball. Throw that out of there. Every time I throw it, I hit the pile. Okay, this clean section, clean work section. I always have a bit of paper on hand because I could always use it. Um, I get that from uh, from Ikea. Uh, really handy. Um, clamps. All my other clamps are down in this box here. Um, I've got stain down there. I might as well come back just over here for a second. Uh, stains. Um, also, I'm doing a lot with this, which is shellac, uh, which I make. And it lasts absolutely forever. And it's beautiful. I love using shellac. Um, obviously, the pencils and things like that go in there. Uh, okay, so this is... Uh, one section which I can use for, usually what I'll do is when, when I'm letting things dry, uh, necks, once they've been clamped, will usually come up here. So this is the work in progress section. Um, moving over to here, uh, this is the other bench that we've got. Um, I probably, like this. Okay. <laughs> um, again, I'm just still organising the boxes here, but like the steel steel bridges that I use, uh, the... the, the um, uh, acoustic string pins, which I'll be using for the majority of builds nowadays. I'll be using those. Um, piezo pickups, corners. A lot of the corners I actually keep at the store because I do the final assembly usually happens at the shop at Katoomba. Um, the string buttons, uh, the, uh, sorry, uh, strap buttons. Uh, pickups, variety of different pickups from a variety of different suppliers. Uh, this particular one's one of the mini humbuckers from MRWS. Uh, I get these flat pickups from um, uh, uh, Michael Breedlove's company. Um, MR, M I've just gone blank. Um, MGB, sorry. <laughs> um, and here we've got uh, some knobs and things. Again, the majority of knobs are pretty much over at the shop. So this, this whole section here needs to be worked. Um, we've got... Uh, 500k pots there, 250k pots there, 0.022 caps there, 0.047 caps. But again, most of the electrics get done at the shop. It's it's all the sanding and the and the painting and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got some guitars on the counter at the moment. Uh, one of our telly builds, which will be going into the store fairly soon. Um, a sparkle green sparkle uh, hound dog uh, resonator, uh, dog bowl resonator guitar. Um, just in this section here, this is a special order for a customer. It's a non, uh, non dog bowl, three string fretless, uh, which is basically approaching final, um, final assembly. Uh, ukulele, which will be finishing hopefully in the next week or so. It's taken a fair while to do that one actually, because I've been experimenting on it. Um, this is going to be one of our beatbox amps. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, some solid state amplifiers. Um, beatbox amps. Uh, this is a little. Uh, speaker amplifier which I'm putting together at the moment one of our two I should say of our uh, Noizu electric guitars uh, which is in uh, beginning stages uh, a little uh, single cut um, over here which still needs cleaning now you'll notice this is the plywood that I use to build the electric guitars it's all stacked so it'll stack flat um, the miter saw which is just brilliant as my wood pile in the back um, you know, with the uh, funnel web, which is, there's a funnel web hiding in there somewhere. So uh, it nearly got me yesterday. Uh, so I'm uh, gonna be bombing that section uh, in, in a bit. Uh, <laughs> yes, so Australia is full of funnel webs. Uh, we are in the Blue Mountains, so this is funnel web season. Uh, they love us. Uh, here we go for lunch. Uh, we've got um, the bandsaw uh, in this section and the little table router with the Makita uh, router. This has just been. This is this is everything. This is amazing. The oscillating spindle sander, which I occasionally get out. Um, but look, everything that's in here is is not expensive. This is not expensive gear. This is just all stuff I've accumulated over the last four or five years. So you know, it's just to give you an idea 
this is the, the boxes that we're using. Um, cigar boxes. They're the Monte Cristos. If you think about it, I looked at the Monte Cristos this morning, did a count up. There's about four and a half thousand dollars worth of Lightning Boys just there. So, you know, it's... That's why I love those boxes. They're just awesome. They're brilliant. Um, uh, we got a few of these. This is this is my yeah. Just, just salivate, people, because I've had this for four years and I haven't used it yet. And I'm going to use it, but I'm going to use it for myself one day. Um, so that's basically that's that's the that's kind of the the, the shop tour. Um, oh, underneath here we've got oh these are all the templates for the electric guitars that I build. Um, that we use a uh, little soldering iron down there, a couple of uh, an Ibanez, an old 1981 Ibanez Roadster that I'm working on at the moment, some necks, uh, a couple belt, a couple. Um, uh, it all depends. Uh, I've got some guitar bodies from MGB, which I just have literally have not had a chance to put together, but I really, really, really want to try and do that early this in the next month or so. Um, and that's basically it. So that's that's the Birdwood Guitars shop. Um, you know, I'm very lucky to have this space uh, where I am. I'm being very careful of how much I'm showing you because the, the rest of the surroundings are just... Everything outside of shot, the shot is still disaster zone. So I'm being a little bit careful about what I'm showing. Um, but look, you know, get out there. Uh, I'd love to see some photos uh, of, of your, uh, your setups, how your doing things um again this is not this is just what i do um and it's you know it's 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 this is this this bench this bench which i made myself um at the accumulated cost of twenty dollars worth of screws and old timber that i had lying around has been the best bench that i've ever owned um so yeah and it was just put together with old bits of old bits of stuff that was just hanging around the house um uh, scrap timber so, uh, yeah, get out there and do it, guys. Have a fantastic uh, Christmas break. Uh, if you're building, get out there and build. If you're not building and you want to build, pick up a hammer. Start building. Um, there's lots of places you can check out. Uh, here in Australia, of course, you've got us here, the, the Cigar Box Guitar Builder uh, Market, uh, MRWS, over in the States, of course. There's, there's, there's so many people who are doing amazing things. Mike Snowden, Justin Johnson, uh, there's some fantastic stuff happening out of MGB, fantastic stuff happening out of, um, of course, out of CB Giddy. I love their weekly videos that they're doing. Um, they're doing a really great job uh, spreading the word of cigar box guitar building um, and roots instrument building too. So just remember, guys, it's not just always about cigar box guitars. If you're building tub bases or you're building or you're, uh, or you're building electric guitars or acoustic guitars and you want to get in, you've seen this and you think, hey, look, you know, this is kind of something that I want to do. Resonators. Doesn't matter. It's called the Cigar Box Guitar Builder, but you know you could be building anything. I don't care if you're building tom toms or whatever it is. It doesn't just have to be guitars. You know, it could even be basses. You know, hmm, what are you gonna do? I'm just kidding. All right, it's Adam from the Cigar Box Guitar Builder and uh, Birdwood Guitars. Um, click the link, subscribe if you like what you're seeing at the moment. There's gonna be a lot more stuff coming. Have a great one, guys. All the best. Bye.